Brought to you by Poster Fix, where we bring your vintage posters back to life. This is Leo Claudia with Malice to It None. We're here today, and we have as our guest, uh, one of the outstanding managers in Major League Baseball, well known in our part of the country, having appeared at our baseball dinner on numerous occasions. I'd like to welcome to our show, the manager of the world champion Cincinnati Reds, Sparky Anderson. Welcome, Spike. Well, thank you, Leo. It's good to see you, and you're getting a beautiful tan down here in Florida, so you're looking like you've been on a vacation. Well, a little bit, more or less. It certainly has been an enjoyable stay, I'll tell you. Sparky, a big season ahead. Here we are, uh, facing 1977, and... Uh, it looks as though it could very well, before it's over, be three straight for the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, I hope so, but it's a long way. You know, from April to October, it's a long battle, and it's a tiring season, but I think that if we stay healthy, we have an opportunity. If we can beat off the Dodgers, I think they're going to be extremely strong this year, and if we can just fight them off and stay with them early, I think by July we can, you know, start moving out ahead of them. Sparky, just how long uh, has it taken you to mold this aggregation into the powerful one that it is? Well, it's been coming, you know, it's, of course, we have some people here that have built it, Bench and Rose and Morgan, uh, they've helped build it, and then along came Conception and Foster and Griffey and Geronimo, so now we no longer have what we used to call the Big Four. When we had Perez, the writers always called it the Big Four, and it's not that way no more, uh, really. Uh, some of our young kids might even be ahead, you know, of some of what they call the Big Four, so I would have to think now I call it the Big Eight. It's no longer uh, split into a foursome. It's so true. And you know, you mentioned, uh, of course, we know what Bench does and uh, Rose does and Morgan does, but uh, one fellow who certainly has come along a long ways and is going to be around for quite some time, he's a big man, but he's got speed and everything else combined. I'm talking about Ken Griffey. Yeah, Griffey's come into his own, uh, Leo, like you said. He, he's matured to the point now. He's so confident in what he can do. And, and this is the thing. I, I really noticed the difference of him this spring, just in the way he talks, his actions. He knows now that Ken Griffey is one of the big machines. He's no longer Ken Griffey, the kid that come here or has to take a back seat with anybody. He's one of the real bona fide stars in our club. Talking to you always. I want you to remember January 18th, uh, 1978. <laughs> you're you're going to have to pack some bats because we're going to have a lot to put in little bags <laughs> for the 30th anniversary. And uh, it'll be a pleasure to have you again. I hope you win that pennant and that, of course, the divisional title first and then the World Series. That's always been a great banquet, Leon. I, I hope the people this year on the 30th, on the biggest one, that they really put more enthusiasm than they've even put in and now they had great turnouts every year but this year the thing should just be packed you ought to have about a 5,000 seat place let me hold it out doors <laughs> <laughs> too cold you're right Spocky thanks a million thank you Leo please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more classic sports interviews from Leo Cloutier with Malice Toward None Brought to you by Poster Fix, where we bring your vintage posters back to life.